Stop Skeletons Live. What's up? My name is Derek Alexander. Thank you so much for watching. We're playing Contra Shattered Soldier. Uh, shout outs to all the people in the chat. Everyone chatting up, talking about where they're from, talking about awesome video games, talking about Contra. Contra brings the people out. That is legitimately one of my favorite intros of all time. Uh, right off the stop, on top of the show, this is a message for the people in the chat. You folks at YouTube, you're already watching the YouTube channel, the Stop Skeletons Live YouTube channel. But we have been posting, we're slowly getting all the videos up. Uh, we got a backlog we're kind of working through, but check out Stop Skeletons Live on YouTube. That's where all the intro, or where all the, uh, the archives are going. Yeah, we'll have a new video out every Monday, and also uh, we'll, I'll post the really old streams just whenever I can. Yeah, there, there aren't so many of those. So. Um, oh, and also Grace is on this chat. Whoa! Yeah, Grace is over there. And um, if I could comment on the, this really cool, that really cool intro scene. I love that Bill Riser took a, like, had to, like, he was, like, so mad that, oh, no, this person's threatening the earth, but first, I gotta get my hair. I yeah. got the dye job. Yeah, yeah. Get my tips frosty, then I'm gonna go kick some ass. Yeah, he had to get the haircut, and he had, he had to get, get, like, it gel. spiked in gel and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're starting off with Contra Shattered Soldier. Currently working on the review for this game. Oh, hey, and before we do that, I just want to and, say uh, a shout out to Illinois, Fredericksburg, oh, yeah. Richmond, Virginia, Tennessee, Sweden, Sweden, Finland, Finland, Seattle, Seattle. <laughs> That's us. Is any? Oh, okay. Hi. Still and nobody. Still nobody. Yeah. Hey, hey, everyone. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Coming out live. Yeah. We do this Thursday nights at seven thirty. And uh, there, but, actually, and I want to say to. There is a there is a Rocket Knight Adventures Easter egg. Is it this one or is yes, it Neo? Yes. Yeah, this is the one with the Rocket Knight Adventures Easter egg. Right. Uh, this is the same guy. Yeah. Um, and we played that game just uh, last week. It's been a blur. <laughs> played that last week. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know anymore. Uh, all yeah, right, we let's did. We did. jump right into Contra Shattered Soldier, one of my favorite PlayStation Two games. Um. Yeah, I'm currently working on a review for this right now. So if you're watching this live next week, God willing, I'll be able to have a new video out on the uh, 30th. That's the plan. So let us know how the uh, the stream is looking in terms of uh, the quality. Oops. I need to move this uh, laptop out of the way because it is actually blocking um, the corner of the TV that I need to see. So let's just let's just go like that and try and keep this sort of angle that I had going. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Oh, and uh, getting some love from the chat on hitting there our uh, second go. Patreon goal. Yes. Which is real exciting. That is We're super excited. exciting. Okay, hold and on. I'm sorry. Let's get... All right. Working all right. hard to get the next video out by uh, this upcoming Wednesday. Yes. So we stay on schedule and everything. Yeah, pretty, turn, pretty turn that down bit a little a, bit. Let's get bit this. Bit of a, like, we've been working super hard trying to, you know, deliver yeah. to our patients. And I just, was thinking one... Just keep videos coming. Yeah, I was thinking one extra, like, work for our patients is that we need to <laughs> we have a pizza party just for the just for them pizza party every week I think that'd be a legitimately cool uh, Patreon thing to be like once a month we'll like order you pizza <laughs> what if we did a, a Truman show once a month and I just like followed you around <laughs> we got a dog and I put a GoPro yeah. on it Oh, I just want to do that in my life. That's just the thing I want to happen <laughs> in my <true>. life. <laughs> I feel bad putting something like that as a, a goal. Maybe that is a goal. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, while we're... I know it's scared. It's going to be hard for you to talk because this game is super flipping hard. But uh, do you have any opinions on what your favorite Contra game and your favorite Contra game? Uh, you know, I, I, a lot of people, I think, would agree that uh, Contra... Three, the Alien Wars is the best one. Oops. Hold on. I need to uh, get my sea legs here. Choking on the stream. Um, I don't know. I, I think, uh, yeah, the Alien Wars is probably the best Contra. Um, people that are wrong would say hardcore. Uh, they're crazy. The 
The anime combo. Yeah, Oh, Hardcore Rising, yeah. I wanted to like Hardcore Rising, but I, I, I just didn't. Whoop. So I, I kind of purposefully haven't been playing this game a whole lot because I wanted to be able to capture footage and it to be a little more true to the, the real experience of playing this game. So you're not seeing me at, the, at my, my top of my game right now. But this, this game is, is basically like... It's like Boss Rush mode, the video game. It's basically a masquerading as a, a puzzle shooter, as a puzzle game. Because there's very little spontaneity to this game. There's not a whole lot of randomness to it. It's basically just like boss fight after boss fight after boss fight. And they're all very rigidly made. You know, every single boss fight plays out exactly the same. They all have moves that you kind of need to, to die. <laughs> A couple times before you understand how the whole thing works. It's a weird game. In that it is a great action game. Maybe a bad Contra game. Because you kinda you kinda want that little bit of spontaneity with your with your Contra. Boy, this part I need to have. This gun here. You know, Contra always had like tough bosses and you know, bosses had moves you had to watch out for. But there were large sections of the game where you run in left, you run to the right and shooting dudes, and it was all kind of random, you know. You don't really get that with this game. It's, it's, it's a, I think it's a great contra game, but not really for everyone. Also, a really cool piece of trivia for this game. Uh, I, I forget his name, but the man responsible for like all of the music into the Silent Hill games which is also a Konami franchise, took a break from Silent Hill 3 to do the music for this game. <laughs> and it's actually some pretty good shit. But it is, it is decidedly, it's distinctly not Silent Hill. Be careful though, because if you, if one of those things grabs you from the bottom and you kill it, it drop down. All right, I'm gonna fight this cool mech. All right, mech, it's you and me. Squish. I love that so much. This, game, this game's pretty dumb. So we got that hit rate counter at the top. I want to try and get 100. percent So actually. Well, you want to hit the top and bottom of this dude. You don't actually have to do that. You can just take out the head. Ah! Oh, yep. Let's do a different level. Do a different Is this level. game cribbing set pieces from previous Contra games at all? Yes. 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 Oh. Do the trick. Is, it, is the meat grinder one? Spoilers. Is that one? That's no, no. But the one we were just fighting is actually the the first boss in Contra Three, and even like the uh, that part where you're shooting across pipes and those flying users snatching you up. That's a reference to uh, the fourth level of Alien Wars. Um, yeah, this game uh, has its moments where it cribs from other uh, Contra games. Well, Yes. We're not good. Like, wow, they were bad. I've actually never played C, the Contra Adventure, which is the second of the two. But I did watch a... Uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's actually kind of a rare game. Uh, unlike, unlike Legacy of War, which I have here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that it was it's a very common game, actually. I watched a YouTube uh, play, a video of it, which I know isn't the same as actually, like... It's not the same as playing the damn game. I understand that. But, yo, that game was pretty fucking terrible. Okay, alright. This is a hell of a game to watch as, on a speedrun, because... Oh, 
Not ballet, it's more macho than that. Ballets are macho. Oh, why did I jump? I, I ha you gotta believe in myself. Just gotta be confident that I can get to take care of those dudes. So I know this game really well because back in the day I played the shit out of it. But it's a it's a game that it's hard to stay in practice towards. So deep down, I got the muscle memory of of this game. Whoop. up a little more turn the game down a bit okay uh i need yeah and all these the transitions are good the explosions are really good the sound effects are great R really this game is is a, it's a fine fucking contra game it's just like the way the levels are constructed um Oh, you can really just stand right there and be okay, can't you? Okay. Yeah, I think that really the only problem is, is it's it's a it's a great game, but you know this boss rush thing just might not be everyone's cup of tea. Here's a really good example of like this is 2002. This is the PS2. This is when 3D was still kind of a weird thing. Like games were they had the whole PS1 and N64 generation to get polygons to get 3D movement, but it was still kind of weird. And this game was smart by keeping it side-scrolling, but look, just watch this boss fight and uh, keep... Oh, sorry, I should have jumped there. I thought he going to do the arm. Oh my gosh. I need to get this thing. Okay, all right. But watch how much this camera is going to start moving around here. As uh, our friend here attempts to kill us. It's over there. Also, it's nice there's no, like, CG, other than that intro we saw at the beginning. It's all just in-game stuff. I like to build this asset and to see how often this thing is going to um, transform and shit. So we're staying side-scrolling, we're staying two dimensions, but now we're doing this now. Explosions, because fuck yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm rusty. I'm rusty on this. I got this. I got this. Is everything cool? I need, I need, uh... My problem is I always get it backwards between... The R2 and L2 and the R1 and L1. Because one of them locks your uh, position here. Like the, the two buttons do this and this. And then the R1 buttons are the ones that actually uh, cycle your weapons. So I always get that backwards. Oh, we turned the music way down. Cool. This is why it's great to have a co pilot. different level. This isn't the turtle level. The turtle level. No, the turtle squishy back to the level. 
Turtle squishy mech level. Is this the spider tree ceiling level? No. Oh, this is the second level. The, the but, um, to be fair, I think all levels should have it. I always get hit right here. God damn it. And that, okay. That was the other bomb. Takes practice. Okay, here we go. But uh, Carrie does bring up a good point. Looking at these mechs make me, makes me kind of miss uh, Xenoblade Chronicles a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, I never, I never settled the score with Iron Face, Iron Mask. I actually haven't gone back and played any Xenoblade Chronicles since that uh, stream we did. We got a we play. We got a PlayStation we got Four. Four. We don't have time for the Wii anymore. Yeah, and then yeah, like, good. you know, we had to play Until Dawn. I had to play Shadows of Mordor and Bloodborne. We had to finish Kid Dracula and still work on this game on uh, Shattered Soldier. Okay, we're doing better now. Oh, and I think this was brought up earlier, but I'm not sure if uh, we finish the anecdote, but this was made by the same guy who made Contra Hardcore, Contra 3 The Alien Wars, as well as Rocket Knight Adventures. And uh, there's a super secret ending that if you S-rank the whole game, where uh, Sparkster makes a cameo appearance. I never gotten that super secret ending. I was able to get all the way to what I think is the last level where you fight a mech dude on top of a plane, on top of a, of a helicopter or whatever. I was never. I never got further than that. So I need. Um, I've never seen him. Do you, oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I've never seen that one. Usually, I take out this back thing a lot sooner. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not good. Let's try this one. In the city. God, and all these fonts on the loading screen. I still don't understand what that's about. <laughs> Watch the dog that does the... There's a dog that does a, 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 a jump like you do. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. There it is. This guy was... This you know. Yeah, those sandbags are part of the hit rate. What? What? Oh my god. But watch the dog split there it is. There is an evil dog in the beginning of uh, Alien Wars. Oh, and to be fair, in Neo Contra, there's a dog boss. There is, yeah. So, okay, so it's not default the best Contra game because of the dog. Other three other contenders. You know, we can actually, um, where am I? There I am. See, I did it again. I was trying to change my weapon and I, I was hitting the wrong button. S such a chump right now. Sorry. I know we have a no chumps policy, but like. You know, actually, I, I think after uh, uh, maybe one more uh, try with this level, we can switch over to Neo Contra. Get up briefly. I don't much care for Neo Contra, but you know I have it. 
any Adventure Time fans, I think that that looks so much like uh, tree trunks. Uh, tree trunks. I'm a little scrapple. What? Back, back. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. That sounds like a really... That's definitely the tree trunks. That, I, I imagine there's some kind of a trap remix of Adventure Time on uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, SoundCloud out there called Trapper. Trapper. My Trapper. That was a really bad tree trunks impression. Tree trunks, is that's a really difficult one to do because there is... A really specific That's just cadence. A real, a real lady voice. Yeah. Like, I, I think the woman who who voices Tree Trunks is actually like a friend of Pendleton Ward's mom, and I actually used to okay, babysit him yeah, or something like that. Babysitter. Yeah, it was like his neighbor or something like that. All right. Oh, this is my favorite level. That kind of reminds me of Back to School. Oh, the, the really spider. No the and it's sort of cute. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, I've been obsessed with the idea of the factory's more plushy or on the green, like the shape mm -hmm. pattern. Like. That was a really fucking cool fight in Blood Bowl 2. What? Oh, it's oh, too close to me. Okay, okay. Jump shit, jump shit. Oh, I thought I... Man. This guy's a, this guy's a toughie. Man. I'm feeling like a chump right now. Overwrite. Seven minutes? That's seven hours. No, I don't want to... I don't want to put this on my, uh... Say that I'm doing so terrible. Uh... We've seen all the levels. I've only been able to beat one. Let's just do four... We got other Contra games to play. Yeah, do you want me to throw in some Neo Contra? Yeah, let me just show them the fourth level and then we can move on. This is probably the, the main game. I would say... I don't know, Neo Contra isn't a terrible game, but I, I really was not. Uh, that Plant Contra, speaking of Adventure Time, sounds so much like... Lemon... Uh, lemon Grab. Lemongula. Lemon Grab, lemon yeah. Lemon Grab. <laughs> How the thing with Neo Contra, it has an insane intro. It is an insanely long intro, so we'd have to probably skip it. Down, down, down. Machine guns gotta watch out for the missiles up top, bombs in the bottom, which you wanna hit. My backpack and then we're gonna switch to fire so we can get through both the backpack and the gun. I think the charged up fire is actually the strongest weapon in the game, but I don't know that a concentrated uh, barrage of machine gun fire beats it, but. But like I was saying, you know, this is a Contra game, and you expect some measure of kind of, you know, randomness and spontaneity, but this game is just all boss fights. Like, we, we just started this level, and all it is is just been this deep, you know? Like, I, I think they pull it off well, but it's really hard to escape that that's kind of a bummer if you're really expecting, you know, your NES Contra, your Super C's, and your hardcores and whatnot, even though the Genesis, you know, game, hardcore, had all the bosses too. Feeling good. Check out that gun. Yeah. He's basically wearing water. <laughs> How 90s can be. Or early 2000s. 
Yeah, I mean, pulled over 90s shit, for sure. Oh, shit. Oh, wrong weapon. There it is, there it is. Now watch me whip. That's me trying to be cool with the kids. Keep up with the kids. Oh, chomp shit right there. Can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. If I hadn't hadn't died, he'd be dead by now. At this point, the pattern's pretty easy. I think if you wanted to get a like a, a low hit rate, you just need to take out his gun so that he just shoots you at the uh, the chest piece there. Ooh. Everything looking good? So I'm talking about Splatterhouse? What's going on? Oh, I'm talking about, I, I'm sorry. I can't, can't pay attention to this. I can't either. Well, I never. Whatever your teen sister thinks I'm pretty cool. My teen sister. Love you. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want you to say that either. Yeah. Doesn't mind it too much. Oh. I think it's because I. Told me she thinks my dad, our dad, is here. <laughs> Confirmed. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I just assume. Yeah, I kind of assume. Fathers kind of all always hate hate the boyfriends. <laughs> kind of on principle. All right. Boyfriends are the worst. Just as a concept. I, I prefer girlfriends. Hey. I like that. Get that fire. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you can kill that thing in one cycle. I am not good. Right, and he does some. Oh, I was gonna say he does some dirty shit and stomps down that one time, but he decided to kill him beforehand. And just close enough to get him off. Yeah! Count pixels. Oh, I might be able to get to the boss that is that resembles something from uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. I mean, is it coming through kind of dark right now? I know this this little this section of the level is uh, kind of dark, but it's looking looking pretty dark to me. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that's not something we can change while we're uh, while we're alive. Yeah, we need to get some uh, better lighting up in here. Still a work in progress, this whole thing. Yeah. Let's see, I need. Yeah, we got our IKEA lamps that have but done pretty you well. Can actually see the skeleton. Oh my god! Skeleton, right. Oh, hold on. Freaking out about that. Ah, 
Did I miss one? I missed one. All right. So this dude. Seaman is probably yeah. It's probably a <laughs> Oh man. Seaman for the sad Dreamcast. Pardon me. The way that its jaw is sort of like unhinged is a little, a little frightening. Okay. So if you're familiar with Rock and Mad Adventures, this part of the boss fight will seem kind of familiar. Where you going, buddy? Okay. There it is. We oh, got it. <laughs> Alright, man. What are you doing? That... I think this is my favorite boss fight. Holy oh, crap. I also like that the inside of his mouth is just a just a texture, a flat texture, but it's like kind of gross looking. This game does gross really well. This is really similar to that one Rocket Knight. Mm-hmm. I, I, yes, you were probably just saying that. I, I said that like three or four times. I am so sorry. I was, was, I was listening to you on the, on the live stream ostensibly. I don't know. I think I, I, if, if I was really on my shit, I would have been able to uh, kill him by now on just two cycles. Perhaps. It looks like I will be successful, which is more than I can say about my other attempts at the levels in this game. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Sky. 99! One last from the grave. Ooh. Yeah, that little flap is good. Hey, 95. It's a good place to leave it on. Okay, Grace. Let's swap out this one. This one. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out this one. I'm gonna put in this one. Oops, hold it. Neo Contra. Thank you. Oh, are we back? Sorry. You came back? Yeah, I think it just kicked us off for some reason. Theater's gonna hate. Man. And it says we're playing Bloodborne again. Nope. I'm I'm offline. I'm offline. Hmm? Now we're screaming. We are we are a go. Give it time to kick in. Yeah. It says we're offline, but you know. You know it says we're on. It says we're on air over here. Nope, not yet. Try to play Neo Contra, and it took the whole damn thing down. Why well, am I not surprised? Oh, there we go. There we go. I think we're back. Back. Oh, 
Well, I guess I guess we'll just sit through the rest of this intro then, because we're, we're almost done now. We're only about halfway through. Remember the intro to Devil Dude, May Cry 3? I think that 3. this pop music is basically the same as Snake Eater. They're the same oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's the same in house band for sure. Love it. Remember the intro to uh, Devil May Cry 3 where he does all the crazy fights and it's like it's just this ridiculous fight that happens. Um, oh, you want to be on the camera? You want oh, to snuggle I up? I did not realize I was on camera. Yeah. I did not realize I was on camera. And you can be on camera awkward. if you want, but. Mm -hmm. I did put on makeup before this. <laughs> I, had, I, hadn't, out. I hadn't noticed. You're so beautiful. Oh, my God. Already. What? Oh, my God. But th th this is so action-packed and ridiculous and crazy, much like that Devil May Cry 3 uh, intro. And then you get in the game, and I don't know. Yeah. Classic Predator. High five. Best buds. They gave player two a real short skirt this time <laughs> Okay, let's just get this bullshit going. Both of these games are available on the PSN. Uh, I would recommend you don't get this one. <laughs> I think... Uh, I think Shatter Soldier is the better game by a mile. The music on this soundtrack reminds me so much of DD, like the Dance Dance Revolution yep. music. All, I don't know. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I like I like that. The Silent part Hill, of it, the Silent Hill guy did really not come back for this. this one. Yeah, the Silent Hill guy didn't come back. Uh, oh. And uh, I think one of the like programmers for Shattered Soldier directed this one, and the director for Shattered Soldier, he only produced this one. So, uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. It does some things that are pretty cool. It is uh, all kind of third person. I do enjoy the attempts at cutscenes and stuff. I like. I appreciate the crying, but you should like it. The fact that you can't skip them and stuff. It's just. I think I could skip them. You? I thought we couldn't last time. Or Am I only getting? Why is that not? You just wouldn't, which is the same thing. Yeah. Usually, like, all you care about are the cutscenes in the story. That, that's true. I'm always so mad when you skip them. But... Why is it only... And that's weird that it's not locking on a bow. So, the pro my beef with this game is it's not a dual joystick shooter. Really, that's what it boils down to. And it's just... The shooting is really just... Which it, it should have been. Like, yeah, PS2, this is... It, like, this was their second PS2 game. Like... Well, yeah, it was I mean, 2004. Concert, yeah. yeah. Like, it was 2004. On. Like, I don't understand. Like, like the, the biggest thing that'll kill you is the dude who just shows up in the back. There's always one of these random green guys that will show up in the back. And... Oh, there. He's about to come up. Yeah. And that's the guy you want to watch out for, to be honest. One thing I do like, though, is you only have two weapons to cycle through instead of three. So cycling weapons is a lot easier. And if you want to use your third weapon, which is the, uh, the like lock on targeting, it's just triangle. So I don't you don't have that problem of like trying to switch into the right weapon and missing. I, that, I still have that problem with uh, Shattered Soldier. I got a question in the chat about if I like to play games with Derek or if I like to watch him play. And the answer is, is I like him to watch me play because um, Der if Derek and I try to play games together, one, if it's versus each other, I am way too competitive and we end up having a fight. And two, um, if it's like something where, I don't know, like we tried to play or we thought, briefly considered playing Until Dawn together, like trading it off and... No, the, I was the, just, I the, was the just Last of Us. Of a, last of Us? 
No, about no, no. I'm talking about Until Dawn. Like okay. we, we were briefly like, should we play it together? Blah blah. blah. And it was like, no, Grace, should just play it because. I think I would get upset. Well, also, it was that game was all about choices and stuff, and it was important that, like, yeah. we kind of kept consistent with the choices you that know, we made in yeah, the game. It, it was important that we tried to date everybody, which is how I like to play all of the video games <laughs> that I play. And also, I think you... I, I had more fun watching you get, like, super unnerved and super spooked out. Whoa! Yes, that one time I decided to... Smoke a little bit, drink a little bit, and ended up killing everybody. Oh, yeah. There's a part <laughs> in the game where it's like, you could potentially kill four people here, and every single one of them died. Just without fail. Oh, God. There's that was the worst. I just, <laughs> the like, sequence like where you were... thing would pop up that was like, don't move! Exclamation point. And, and you were like, like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I guess I I kind of like Dead Cells because because... Uh, I, I usually, like, for you, you're the one who, Derek's the one who captures all the gameplay footage, and I usually, usually will be, like, on the computer doing something for uh, the stop skeletons or something else while he's doing that. More about work. Yeah, or, or I'm playing Bloodborne or Dark Souls, and she don't give a fuck about that. She don't need to watch that shit. Yeah. She's welcome to watch it, but she, she don't want to. She don't give a shit about well, that. Well, that's how we've been kind of catching up on Steven Universe for you, is just throw that on. Oh, God. That's, maybe that's just my fantasy. But yeah, unfortunately, um, I'm just not. I'm also, I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I'm super good at video games or just, you know, as good I'll as pretend. Derek even. Like, so if we are playing against each other, I, I just can't handle, mm -hmm. I can't handle it because I'm terrible. <laughs> Just as a person and as a game. Oh, player. yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> oh, no! I barely made it. Got that spiky hair. And then let's do the joke again. Come on, Neo Contra. So this is, I guess, sort of a, a callback to that boss in uh, Shattered Soldier. <laughs> the chat wants us to play Mario Party, and I think it's only no. because they want no. our relationship no. to die. No. <laughs> no. Like I, 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 reality. I don't play Mario Dude, Party. Jerry actually hates Mario Party. I genuinely... I have never played a game of Mario Party that didn't end with me actually hating everybody in that room to the point where I actually kind of didn't want to be friends with. Like, I, I play Mario Party with people that I'm not friends with anymore, kind of. Die Hard Arcade? Uh, nah, I don't have the I don't have the Saturn with me right now. Okay, this is my own request. Um, Konami's Karaoke Revolution Three. What do you think about playing that for okay. the stream? Gir girl, <laughs> I was at the Goodwill. I was at the Goodwill, and they had that game. They had that game and the microphones to play it on, and you were like, Nah. Oh man, but wouldn't that be fun for like a New Year's Eve stream or something? <laughs> <laughs> Just get real toasty I mean, we, and... We could have done it. Sing that. Oh, we we could have done it. it. I mean... Uh, Coming up. We'll be in town. Look at that. I know. We got to hunt down the same. We could have had those games for super cheap. Could have done it. Oh, shit. That's right. Dude, I'm, I'm sure that my parents still have <laughs> 20 karaoke revolutions. <laughs> I'm sure you've told the story again, but it, it's, it bears repeating. Tell the, sh the chat, the people at home about Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. T tell, tell the people oh, at home about... Oh, okay, yeah. So my, me and my family... <gasps> oh, my, wait, oh okay, I think... Wait, hold scene. on, we're going to have a cutscene here. I'm so sorry. It's too important. But yeah. Short skirt. Those thigh highs. Yeah, he worked hard for those thighs. Look at them. Mm -hmm. That's hitting the gym. That, that's, that's jogging. That's biking. That's, that's pumping it. I don't know. I'll 
Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a weird echo. Ooh, I'm not sure what that's about. An echo? Now the TV's has the TV volume's up a little bit. Here. Maybe, maybe turn maybe, that. I think we should mute it. Yeah. I Ah. Oh, I forgot. I, don't know. Um, I, I did forget I have a jump. For the people on the chat, I kind of think that the echo made everything Gorilla Contra said a little bit better. But, yeah. Um, personal preference. Right there, I forgot that I had the jump, but I can dash to the side here. But still, this game, like, you have to, like, lock and then get to where you want, slam on the L2, and you, you get better at it as you go. I guess when I played this um, the other day, I was having a lot more trouble with it than I am now. That's always the problem of like, you bitch about the controls in a game, but then you kind of get good at the controls in the game, so it's almost like you're. It's form into <laughs> it's, it's form into Titan! Um, it's almost like what you're complaining about isn't valid, but it just doesn't. It still feels like weird. Like, you get used to it eventually, yeah, but. Whoop! So actually, um, kind of back on the Konami train and back on um, the story train. My growing up, my mom um, is a good person, not like a hyper religious or conservative person, but somehow had decided that video games were capital E evil and that they would not be allowed in this household with me and that sort of thing. And uh, but that was until um, a little game called Dance Dance Revolution came out. My mom didn't know that video games could be for her, basically. <laughs> oh my god, he just bombed his one. And, uh, Contra. That's, and besides a very in-depth um, poster board presentation me and my sister put on about basically that we could use the PlayStation 2 as a uh, DVD player. <laughs> I convinced my mom to buy me a Sega CD back in the early 90s because it was a CD player and I could, I could listen to CDs. Oh yeah. Well, it's Neo Contra. It's available on eShop or uh, on PSN. Um, I don't think it's not a terrible game. That means it is really it's it's eh. Um, I think instead, what you I would recommend is a game called The Red Star, which I think we should play briefly before we uh, wrap up. Don't you think, Grace? Um, I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, Sonic Shuffle, then. One. I've passed up a handful of Sonic Shuffles that I've seen in the wild, and that game was always really expensive, and I recall renting it way, way back in the day, and I recall it being fucking terrible. I recall Sonic Sonic Shuffle, even back when I thought that like Mario Party 1 was sort of a good game, uh, right. I recall renting that and thinking like, this is garbage. What's up with Sonic Shuffle? Sonic Shuffle is Sega's right. answer to Mario Party, uh... and it came off with the Dreamcast. Um, yeah, so why don't you go ahead and... and uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're... Actually, I don't think we could show you the evil dog boss. I'm not sure what level it is, but I, I don't know. No, I've, I only I don't think played. We're close to it. I played the first two levels. But I would love to. You know how we feel about dogs. Yeah, we, we played. The, I played the first two levels the other day, and was just like, I'm not really digging this game. Oh, stage four. Well, yeah. but um, one thing I gotta you say swap this is out? That I'm giving this to you to swap out. I, I know. Oh, okay. um, I just want to warn everyone. I think the stream's gonna cut out again. Yeah. So, um, I'm so sorry. We'll see I'm how so, this so we'll see how this works. That's okay, I got plans for Halloween, which will not include swapping out games. And it will include the Dreamcast. So stay tuned for that. Alright. Hold on to your butts. I'm gonna try this. No, just hit reset, that should be enough, but we'll see. I don't know. You can open it up right now, actually, if you want to swap it just that way. Because it's, it's it, yeah, you can open up the. It'll run just fine. It's, oh, the the music went out, but it's because that was the only thing that was pulling off of uh, the disc. So, yeah, put put the new disc in. Yes. All right. Well, 
it'll reset the audio thing or the, the video feed, but that shouldn't kick us offline. No, it's fine. It's it's still reconnecting, but we still have a signal. According to this, we're still good. See how we are here. Okay. Well, shit. Now we know that is the one piece of this new uh, Elgato that's kind of a bummer. Is swapping games like that? I guess just I'm not sure what the deal is. Uh. But I think so far, like, this has been smoother than using OBS. But still, like, long term, I'd, I would like to get a streaming PC. Because running this shit on Mac... I know I'm literally not sweating the way that I do when we use OBS. Just, yeah. Just from, like, oh god, is it broken again? Uh, and it's, it says we're playing Bloodborne again. Illbleed would be good, though. Oh, yes. Illbleed? That is the plan, actually. I want to do, I want to do uh, all Thursdays uh, in October, just uh, play through Illbleed. It's nice Illbleed long play. Yeah. So go ahead and update because it still says Bloodborne. We're playing the Red Star. And uh, I have. Oh, I. Th oh, it's on the other memory card. Okay. Well, you know, we'll start a new game because now I, I, I know how this game works a little better. Continue with save. Actually, no, don't continue with save. I just go and... Uh, and we actually can't play Enemy Zero because we don't have our console no, with I us. No, I don't have the Saturn. Uh, though I guess I could do emulation, but I saw somebody like... tweet. But we never some, do emulation. Someone so. tweeted or someone commented and just said, You should play Enemy Zero. You can beat that game in two hours. And I don't know what planet that person thinks they live on, uh, but... The game is not two hours long, especially if you die. Um, I was pretty good with him. <laughs> PC enemy zero. Oh, yeah, oh, that, that does we're, exist. We're gross Mac users. Yeah. Which, uh, we're, that's a plan someday far in the future to just get a PC for yeah. streaming because this is kind of ridiculous, but uh, it doesn't, it's not going to happen anytime J soon. Just when you use Mac, you just, there's just not a whole lot of options for you. And I only stuck with Mac because that was where the best editing software was. I really, really liked uh, Final Cut. And then when I got this Mac, I didn't even need to get Final Cut because I got that Adobe Suite, so I use Adobe Premiere now. But Which is um, nice. We use Photoshop all the time. I get up on that After Effects. Like, yeah. Sometimes. Not really for the videos here. <laughs> oh, there was that one thing in the uh, uh, Shatterhand video you did. All right. So this is uh, the Red Star... It was originally going to come out like in 2004 or 2003. It ended up getting delayed or whatnot and didn't come out until like, oh god, was it 2006 or whatever? So it looks similar to Neo Contra. It's way zoomed in. I got my gun here. I got this thing though. and that, that, We're going to pay close attention to this. I got this combo system going here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's going to tutorialize us right now. I'm slashing dudes. So, this is a shooter and a brawler. And to me, this game, it, on, on, like, at first glance, you're like, oh, this is basically Neo Contra. And after a while, you start getting different enemies that'll attack from a distance or like shoot bombs at you and stuff like that. And it starts to feel more and more like Ninja Warriors. So now, so now I got this level up. That that bar above my uh, life, or underneath my life, is full. So actually, I want to get over here if I can and go super beam. And you get that by beating up dudes with your melee weapons. So it's similar. You're building up like your your, your blaster meter, so to speak. And then you have cooldown on your gun. You can just sit here and blast dudes all you want, you know. But you notice that. I have a cooldown, like my gun is overheating, and I want to not do that. And then you know, oh, now my gun is overheat. I can't, I can't shoot. 
So that's it, it. It looks like it's more zoomed in. It's like a slower game than Neo Contra, but that's because it really it, it's it's it has a lot to, like it's a brawler. I think that's really fucking interesting. This guy's got a shield. Gonna knock him off like that. And also, the way this game has this really cool contrived thing, We're, you are controlling these dudes. You are watching this on a screen. You notice there's like that little curve to it. And so there's all this really cool like forced perspective it does with uh, like the lens and stuff like that. And I don't know, this this game really, really, it, it, it fucking, it's some interesting shit going on here. I was really, really feeling it. Uh, far, far more than I was for um, Neo Contra. It's kind of like your just... Guilty Sparks and as well as Master Chief. It's kind of the vibe I get. I know, and I know that's a completely different genre of game from what we're watching, but I just like to imagine you have a little guy floating above you. So. Oh, yeah. Like Jack unlocking doors for us and, and uh... Yeah! Well, your friend. Yeah, little buddy. Oh, yeah, so I can go like this, and if I... Yeah, if you hit a dude... And then you can shoot. Oh, but it, it made my gun overheat. But yeah, there's like a combo thing you can do. Turn around, turn around, dummy. Okay. Gosh, but on the subject of Halloween videos and really cool camera ideas, it makes me really, really want to play some Clock Tower, honestly. Yeah, that was a good game. God. Oh, I got my special meter. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's it's a much more interesting game than Neo Contra, I think. There's no dash. That 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 kind of seems like a problem like but it, it's about that crowd control, you know. You can't be everywhere at once. Ooh. So they yeah, I get thrown back here and these dudes are Kind of fucking me up, and I gotta get like behind him. And I can charge up my shot too, like that. And I haven't even played with the other uh, character yet. So I'm just kind of figuring out this dude here. It took me a couple levels before the game really hit me. Yeah, um... But this, oh. yeah, this game does some really, really cool shit. That's all I'm saying. I would like to confirm that... I think you already said this, Derek, but the Red Star is on PS. Is it? I know it's on PSP. I just looked it up. Again. Okay, I did not know that. I knew that Neo Contra oh, yeah. and uh, Shattered Soldier were on uh, PSN. But yeah, that means, you know... Here's a totally rad game. Knock that motherfucker off. I will say some of the bosses are kind of lame. Uh, it, you know, this game certainly doesn't have the same kind of bombast as uh, uh, Neo Contra. But, you know, it's got to where it counts. It's got that gameplay. You know, gameplay is king. You know, um... Wamahato in the stream. We're actually we're actually just talking about doing a is it really that bad? <laughs> For that game. The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> but kind of logistically how to make that happen right now because you need to get the proper videos out and you know keep up with these streams. Got a lot on our got a lot on our, uh, on our plate. Oh, and this game is based on a uh, graphic novel series that I, I know nothing about. Oops. Oh, I love these the lasers. They look, look so fucking cool. Is it on on our side? Or yeah. 
Oh, people are complaining about it in the chat, though. Because our internet just might be shit. Oh, what? What is happening? Why is this guy, like, magically hitting me? Keep it going for the, uh, uh, for the archive. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm about to fight this. All right, hold on. We should take it down here, cause this is some rat shit happening. All right, one last time. Are we solid? I'm going. All right. Well, we're gonna have to. We're back again. Back one more time, and we're gonna fight this cool boss with the chainsaw and shit. And then we're probably gonna have to wrap it up. Yeah, we actually got a script to polish up. Yeah, and... we got uh, videos to make, but right now, <laughs> I got heavy guardsmen to fuck up. Yeah. Look at this motherfucker. He's, he's all hot shit. And then a turtle falls on him. Oh my god. What are you doing? Yeah, what's that? Oh man, he's got a. Oh, that is heavy. Okay, so I bet this guy is only melee. Okay, okay. Okay, probably should not charge up. There it is. Get the fuck up. Oh no. Some tough stuff, but yeah. Derek, how did you become the best? Eat Wheaties, broccoli, Kellogg's. Fifty, 50 push-ups every Kellogg's? day. Because Kellogg's are now the official sponsor. Oh, okay. Oh, and here's another cool thing about this game: you get to buy upgrades, upgrade trees, which is just—it's yeah. This game is this game's fucking all right. This game is all right. I still have not beaten it. I think I got to like level six or seven on my playthrough. Um, there's probably a lot more for me to get through, but yo, the Red Star is really, really good. That's what I recommend y'all check out. Uh, but I think we're going to have to wrap it up. Uh, it is getting late here in Seattle, in beautiful downtown, near downtown Seattle. Um, we got videos to finish. Yeah. Got the Contra Shattered Soldier video to finish. One, one video in particular to finish. Yeah, and then after that, it's head first into Halloween. Uh, and look, oh, God. Yeah, so look forward to a, a playthrough of Illbleed. I haven't played Illbleed really since the last time I streamed it, and that was just for a little bit. And I really haven't played... I haven't really played it since I reviewed that game in 2012? Anyway, so but... So this might be a little bit of an HVGN marathon. Yeah, HVGN again HVGN thing, maybe. It, again. That's a game I've really wanted to play again for a while anyway. Um, so that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, any any questions last minute here in the chat? Uh, before we head out, I'll buy an upgrade. I'll buy... Um, I can only really afford a couple things. Yeah. Reload. I'm sure there's a because this is based on a comic book. There's probably a really cool story. I'm being a shitty person and skipping that all. Oh, 
Yep, 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 yep. Chapter 2, Eric's. Look at that, look at that, like, for, like, it's blurry in the background there. That's just really cool. This guy again. Any questions, Grace? Any questions? I, I'm just obsessed with Kellogg's right now. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, if we got we got any questions. In yeah, because after this boss fight, we're going to wrap that's it up. That's cool if you don't. I love the depth of field that's yes. going on right now. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so give it a couple seconds. I might be driving everyone away with my Kellogg's chat. I'm so sorry. I'll stop. Why are you talking about Kellogg's? Because they have a really interesting origin story, and I'm not sure about Video games <laughs> and uh, breakfast cereal, breakfast cereal origin stories. Really? You ain't gonna get that on a giant bomb. You ain't talking, ain't talking about breakfast cereal like that. It. Hold mm -hmm. up. Hold up. Let's guy zoom in here. Shout out to Giant Bomb. Sad yeah. Sad we missed them when they came up for PAX, but you know, how it could crumble sometimes. Yeah, they were, well, they had a, just a fucking miasma of content from PAX. I didn't want to, you know what? I wanted to wait in line for three hours or something. I, I decided it was going to be uh, uh, for Dark Souls 3. <laughs> but if that's going to do it, then all right. Thank you for watching on the YouTube. Thank Thanks you for watching for on Twitch. We'll see you next week, next Thursday, 7.30. Uh, new video, hopefully, this Wednesday. Send your love and prayers Hell to me. High water. Yeah, it's gonna Happening. be a it's gonna be a long couple days, but you know, that's how this is this is the job. That's the job. It's what you wanted. Yeah. That's what we wanted. We're on Patreon, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, you know the whole thing. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, next Thursday is the I'll be officially the witching month. Don't get spooked. All right, bye, buddy.